Pop found by DeAndrea. The Bruce all game long. Now Hale calling for calm. And good high pressure from DeAndrea. As first, there's the playoff round that was held in Indiana. FC Dallas trying to fashion their first real attack. But it's the Red Bulls to go the other way. And it's a good three. Now it's Mason Deeds' turn. Munjoma steps up, being policed by DeAndrea. And you could see the idea there from. DeAndrea is playing very narrow in this early going. Two players from the starting 11 of their respective conferences. And it was Deeds who won that battle. And now it's DeAndre out wide. And Montavo did just enough to put him off. Been with the Red Bull since 2006. Not only credited with getting this team to the final here today, Simon Nee, but also helped to develop the philosophy and the curriculum for the New York Red Bulls Academy. One of the things he was charged with when he first joined. Or the side of the box, I should say. As Tervegi gets it back to Hale. Hale playing that short. Oh, and an Aaron clearance. Can the Red Bulls take advantage? DeAndrea just couldn't latch onto it. And now it's Ramos looking to clear. Right back down. Looking for Montes de Oca, but it's all the way back with it. Goes FC Dallas as they'll hit the reset button in the 15th minute. Munjoma looking to get forward. And at the moment, anywhere will do for New York Red Bulls. Montalvo's header only as far as the New York Red Bulls midfield. And another Aaron Clarence slipping from Weston McKinney. This is Teixeira. DeAndrea, top of the box, chance for Gilby. And a great job by Montalvo. To great technique from the goalkeeper sliding. Letting the ball go right as he was about to get out of bounds and turning and going back in. As long as the ball stays in, his feet is allowed to go back out. He just can't touch the ball when it's out. Montalvo. Long searching ball just skipping. Vega, another member of this U-17 men's national team pool. Tedder couldn't get the second. Poked away by Mingachos to D'Andrea. Looking to spring Saramago. Bit of a heavy touch from Marin. Won back by Perno. Quickly off to D'Andre. You can see he has that free roll to float from wing to wing. Deeds header only as far as Hernandez. Now it's McKinney. Munjoma. Birthday boy looking for the target forward. Andre dispossessed by Hernandez. McKinney looking to run. This time through Munjoma. The Andrea has hardly had a sniff of the ball in this first 33 minutes. The Andrea. Neither has that man, Saramago. Good sliding challenge. Gilby puts it into the melting pot. It's a good ball. It was FC Dallas who are winning the aerial battles in both ball in both boxes. To the box. Little touch out wide for Vega. He clips it to the far post. And powder with a smart backwards header to get it clear. And you could see that with the look that he gave to Vega before he sprinted back. Saramago 
Good ball into the channel for Marin. And Marin muscled off of it by Cannon. Their high pressure causing the Red Bulls problems all day long. This is a foul right at the top of the box, just outside. Yes. Omar Fernandez out. So one substitution made at halftime, and it was the New York Red Bulls. See if Kyle Casey can come on and change the kicks five to two. Kennedy for the third goal for FC Dallas. Working on a shutout streak that would go across the entire playoff. Has 18 goals in 30 games so far this season. This being his 30th appearance. Nice touch on from Gilby. Now it's Teixeira, working down the near side. And this is Powder. First time he's really witnessed space to get forward. Powder score of the game winner against Georgia United in the semifinals. Casey. It will be another throw in deep in FC Dallas territory for the New York Red Bulls. Powder bulldozing forward. Still going, Powder, with those long strides. And there's a foul call, and the question is, is this just inside the box or outside? For FC Dallas's youth teams, this would cap off a wonderful week as their pre-academy U15s won the MPL national title on penalty kicks.